Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. Today we're going to talk about random numbers in Python. So Python comes with different built-in modules to generate random numbers. In this tutorial we will have a look at the random module for pseudo-random numbers, the secrets module for cryptographically strong random numbers, and the numpy random module to generate arrays with random numbers. So let's start with the random module. And first of all we import random. And this is used to generate pseudo-random numbers for various distributions. And it's called pseudo-random because the numbers seem random, but they are reproducible. And we will see how we can reproduce the data in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at the different functions. So the easiest one is random.random. .random. So let's say a equals random.random. .random. This will print a random float in the range from 0 to 1. So let's print A. So this is a random float in the range from 0 to 1. Now if you want to have a specific range, we can use random.uniform and give it a start and a stop. So let's say our range is from 1 to 10. Now this will produce a random float in this range. Now if you want to have integers, we can use random.randint and give it the range. And if we run this a couple of times, now it's not happening, but this range will actually, now we got it, this will include the upper bound and you might expect a behavior where this is not included. So for this reason, you can use the rand range method. So this will do the same thing. It will pick a random integer in this range, but here the upper bound is not included. So this will never pick the 10 here. Then there's the random dot normal variate function with a mu and a sigma. So let's give it zero as mu and one as sigma. And this might be useful if you're working in statistics. So this will pick a random value from a normal distribution with a mean of zero and the standard deviation of one. So let's have a look at how this normal distribution looks. This is the normal distribution for different means and standard deviations. So in this case we use 0 and 1. So we have to have a look at the red line. And this will pick a random value somewhere in this range where our red line is not 0. So this is the random normal variant. Now the random module also comes with different functions to work with sequences. So let's say we have a list and call it my list equals and let's create a list with different characters. So if we print this, we will see that each character is now a element in our list. And for example, now we can pick a random choice. So let's say a equals random dot choice from our list and print this. So this will pick a random element. Um, now if we want to pick more elements, we can use random sample and give it the number of different elements we want to pick. And this will pick unique elements. So it will, for example, never pick A twice. And if we want to have a behavior where elements can be, can, can be picked multiple times, we can use the random.choices method. And here we have to use K equals three. So this will do the same thing, but now we see it can pick elements multiple times. Then there's also the random shuffle method. So let's say random 
dot shuffle our list. So this will shuffle a list in place. Now if we print this, then we see that the elements are now shuffled. So these are the most common functions to generate random numbers. Now earlier I said that these are pseudo random numbers because they are reproducible and you can do this with the random seed method. So I can say random dot seed and give it a value here. So let's say for example one and then I can do different random operations. So let's say I want to have I want to print random dot random and I want also want to print some random integer. So let's say random dot rand int in the range from one to 10. Now if I run this, this will produce some random numbers and then I can reseed again with this value with the same value here one and then do the same set of operations and now if I run this then we see that these are now exactly the same numbers here. Now I can also for example now I can see it with a different value here let's say two and then I do this operations and then again I will see it with one and do these operations and at the end I will see it with two again and do these operations and then I run this and now let's have a look and now we see that all our uh, operations or our random numbers with a seed of one are now the same and then all where I use the seed two all these random picks are now the same so this is how you can reproduce your data with this random seed functions. And because um, these numbers are reproducible, they are not recommended to use for security purposes. And for this purpose, uh, you should use the secrets module. So we can use import secrets. And this only has three functions and they should be used for things like passwords or security tokens or account authentication things so for all these purposes you should use the secrets module the disadvantage is that it's um it takes more time for these algorithms but but they will generate a true a random number so and it only has three functions so the first one is secrets dot rand below so let's say a equals secrets dot rand below and then it has an exclusive upper bound so this will um, produce a random integer in the range from zero to 10 and 10 is not included. Then you have the secrets dot rand bits method. So this will return an integer with um, K random bits. So for example, let's give it four bits. Um, now if you you're familiar with bits and bytes, so for example, here four bits means that it can has four different um, random um, uh, random binary values here. So the highest possible uh, number here in this case would be one 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 one. So this is fifteen. So this is two to the power of three, which is eight. And this is 2 to the power of 2 which is 4 so 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 15 so this will uh, generate a random number 
in the range from 1 to 15 or from 0 to 15 sorry then you also have a secrets choice method so let's say I have a list my list equals list and with some characters in here and then I can use a equals secrets dot choice and my list and this will pick a random choice that is not reproducible so this is the secrets module and now if you're working with arrays then you can use the numpy module so if you have not installed it just use pip install numpy and then you can say import numpy as np so usually you will do it like this and then you can say for example you want a array with random floats then you say a equals numpy dot random dot rand and then give it the dimensions so in this case I will put in three here so this will produce a 1d array with three elements in here so three random floats here um, now if I can I can also use more dimensions here so I can three this is now a three by three array um, now if I want to have random integers in a range I can say rand int and give it the range from let's say 0 to 10 and here 10 is excluded and then I can give it the size so let's say also size 3 a 1d array with random integers now if I want to have a array with higher dimensions I have to use a tuple here so I can use a tuple and say 3 by 4 for example so this will create a 3 by 4 array with random integers um, then this will also have a random shuffle um, method so let's say I have a numpy array with different dimensions um, now print this array and then I can say numpy dot random dot shuffle and then our array and now print the array and this will only shuffle the elements along our along the first axis so this will never switch elements in between but only switch elements um, in the first axis so this is the numpy random module and one important thing you have to know is that uh, the ra numpy random generator uses a different a number generator than the one from the Python standard li library and it also has a different seed um, well a uh, seed function so I can also say um, numpy dot random dot seed and then give it a value let's say one and then I can do some operations so uh, let's say numpy or print this print numpy dot random dot rand three by three and then I can reseed and do the same thing and this will now reproduce the same um, the same array and the important thing is that you should use the numpy random seed method instead of the seed method from the random module that we've seen previously so these are two completely different seed generators and yeah that's all about working with random numbers i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we talk about decorators in python